O'Biden's fight for peace. There should be no doubt. Our support for Ukraine will not waver. NATO will not be divided and we will not tire. Seeking to galvanize that support in a historic address. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia. Never. As two presidents engaged in a war of words just 1,200 kilometers apart, they may as well have been on different planets. In Moscow, Vladimir Putin, in a two-hour speech, blamed the West and Ukraine for the conflict. They started it, he said. Claiming the US wanted a global war, ignoring Moscow's heavy losses in Ukraine, while declaring Russia was suspending a nuclear arms treaty that limits stockpiles of the weapons, threatening nuclear tests too. Of course, we will not do it first, but if the U.S. conducts its tests, we will do it as well. Just hours later, the U.S. president called out Russia's war crimes as abhorrent. Brutality will never grind down the will of the free. Joe Biden's Eastern European tour much more than just symbolic. His message and presence politically powerful. Leaders here and in Ukraine hope it might just make the difference on the battlefield. Fresh from his historic journey to Kyiv, this time assuring Poland's president the US will protect NATO territory close to Russia, not just with words, but military might too.